Hi everyone, it's Crusale. And this is Riley. How y'all doing? And we are back with more Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we are about to take on a big boy. Big boss. Fun times. What do you mean? He's. This is clearly just some sort of abandoned tank that's hanging out here. There's no way anything bad could happen. That thing has a mouth. Get back! That thing looks like a... That thing looks like the front of a train on a bad day. Yes, it does. Not all you got. For some reason, it makes me think of Lagan from Gurren Lagan. I kind of see it. It's got a little bit of that sort of... It could be the head of a giant mech robot yeah. kind of feel. It's the Crab Warden. Don't underestimate it. It's slow, but it hits hard. Let's see here. Assess. Crab Warden. I got you now. Ow. Okay. There we go. Weakness to lightning. Lesser resistances, uh, resistances to slow. Immunities to poison, silence, sleep. Uh, Stop, movement down. Berserk. And, Stop berserk and piercing? proportional damage. Ah. So that's stuff like um, the drop of gravity that you might have, might not have yet. I saw that some enemies were dropping it. Yeah. That's just, um, Demi. The, like, deals one quarter of their eight max HP or something like that, right. their current HP. Um. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. What do you mean target locked? You two stay on the offensive. It was looking. It was looking to do something on you. It's gonna shoot you with a flamethrower. Okay, same thing. What? I no. I targeted the leg. Oh well. Uh, the leg is just a part of it. Oh, that dealt a lot of damage. Thank you. Thank for goodness heals. Barrett was healing. Wow. Oh, keep hitting him. Ow. Knock him out. Ooh, using Kira. That might be a good step. time. Ooh, he's pressured. Uh, use your focused thrust ability right now, and that will super knock up his his gauge. On the crab warden. Uh, there oh. we go. See how that like knocks it up super quick, super quick yeah. compared to normal attacks. Coming out, my boy. Let's oh. do it. Have fun. Oh, big he's man. just so cool. Kind of wish we had Leviathan though for this fight, considering he's weak. Uh, since he's weak to yeah. Well, Levi Leviathan is non-elemental. We would want Rama, which is unfortunately not in the game yet. Ah, uh, yeah. At least I think I think Rama is the. Lightning Elemental one that they had in Final Fantasy VII. That there you go. It was like it already? in that front. Nah, that was just stage one, boy. Here comes stage oh two. He's got reinforcements. Fun times. Glad I have Ifrit out. I hate that attack. Yeah, I, I like that they have the little words show up because it helps... It helps give you a, even a little bit extra telegraphing to understand what's going on. Which sometimes you can't quite tell with the fact that you gotta fight the camera a little bit. Hit him hard. Ooh, it's... Oh, this is gonna hurt it a little bit. I like it. 
Aw. There's something so satisfying about having a fire elemental at your back. Yeah. It just, it feels so incredibly badass. Uh, Barrett also has one of those focused shot things to really he also has thunder, apparently. The, the presser gauge. Oh, stagger! All the... Now, do you see the generator right there? Yes. That little glowy boy. Ooh. I don't think so. It looks like it, is, it has adapted to the lightning we've been hitting it with. Oh, that's fun. The lightning is on its side now. Oh! oh what? Already got healed. Nice job, Barret. Exploded on you. That did nothing. Wow, didn't quite didn't quite reach. That feels like a little bit a little bit unfair. Just a tiny bit. Left auxiliary weapon. I wonder what happens if you destroy those, or if it's just gonna stagger it again. Okay, weakness is still lightning. That's a little silly, considering all of that, but... Oh, wow. You've done almost everything you can do to an enemy in this game. Hmm. To that enemy. So I guess at least one of those parts of the limit break hit it. I'm trying to take out those auxiliary weapons, but it's not working out so hot for me. Yeah, they don't they don't seem to be getting hit. Thank you, Barrett. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, at least these guys know what to do. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's great to see that the NPCs don't need you to help them to stand in the not damage spot parts. Okay, lightning does do a lot. Okay, yeah. I guess light, I guess that's, you can't reach it that easily. Like, it's kind of out of the way. Oh, it's staggered. Oh, and it's staggered in, like, the worst spot. Because <laughs> it's hard to get around to the generator. That makes me glad I have lightning. Oh! Ow. Flat just got Pain. smacked away. Ouch. Oh, there we go. Nice evasion. Thank you. Let's see here. Thunder. Left auxiliary weapon. Get that. Knocking that ah, down. Ah. Man, it is. It is working hard. It's working overtime here. Spells, Cure, Cloud... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, you were just doing a real quick, like, moonwalk for a sec. Hmm. 
Go down, go down, go down. And it is down. Hello, and Metal you've got Knuckles. Metal Knuckles. All clear. I'm not sure why there were a pair of metal plated no. gauntlets sure. inside of this giant uh, crab warden, but I'm happy I'm, to see him. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Uh oh. Oh, that looks that looks hell about to explode. Heidegger's not gonna be happy. This won't do. Knocked out. Every single camera so, in that area. Ouch. That the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. An anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully. No, sir. If you read my report, I said this would happen. Given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded. Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are inoperable. Uh oh. The President. Yes. Yes. Everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. Hmm. Huh. Lemons make being lemonade in we that case. Exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. <laughs> hmm. I feel like those helmets must be. So. You will deal with our yeah, they they must personally. suck to have on. Yeah, those okay. sensor arrays, ugh. Yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fairly. So don't disappoint me. I mean, also, like, how can you tell who anybody is? Seriously. They only leave the least <laughs> unique parts of people's face, which is the chin and mouth like out to be seen and yeah. like some of the nose is beyond these shipping containers let's slip through will do once i uh take care of some stuff <laughs> all right tifa oh hello metal knuckles whoa what oh because well, they haven't been you haven't upgraded them at all true but also like just looking at the stats and thinking about it, they're a physical attacking weapon. Like these, the metal knuckers, knuckles are all about punching stuff. Less mm. about casting spells. Fair. Alright, let's see here. Upgrade weapons, Tifa. Seven on the leather gloves. Hey! Oh ho! Two Six out of four. in that spot. Attack up, max HP up, attack up. All right. And now, metal knuckles. Now we got a bunch on the metal knuckles. Hey, -o. 35 points to spend. Ooh, and look at those stats. That's a lot of attack boost. Mm hmm. And here we have attack damage 5% boost. Aerial attack damage 5% boost. Buff duration 10% boost. Jeez, a Pete. Ha. She gets rear assault. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jokes. Ooh. New materia okay. slot. So, what do I have to do to unlock this? Uh, you can you can use any of them at any point. Oh, there we go. For some reason, that was weird. For some reason, it, I thought it wouldn't let me. Uh, magic attack speed up. Needs more mm. materia. Oh yeah, and speed, what it does is it affects the rate at which your ATB gauge fills up, just, I think, just naturally, as well as how much it fills per, like, time you attack, that sort of thing. 
Hmm. So the more speed, the more you'll get to use abilities and that sort and that sort of stuff. Works for me. Looks like I well, I just unlocked all the speed boosts on this thing, so now let's just boost everything else. Knock out some attack power. Do I want to just put it into this? I mean, it seems worth it. It's I mean it's it's the same amount either way. It's True. both one to one points to attack power. Uh I'll just boost one of these. Easier yeah. to unlock from level to level this way, too. Hmm. Oh, and you can get the 5% damage bonus, too, still. Oh, uh, yeah. Parallel attack damage, buff duration, rear assault. There we go. Alright. That feels good. And we can give Tifa all of her materia back. Yeah. What did she lose? Ice, so she needs her fire uh, materia. That sounds right, yeah. There we go. Alright. Okay? Now we just gotta squeeze through a tiny little space. Join up with a very large Captain Barrett. <laughs> oh man, that thing took a beating. So yeah, we... You, bump into any you, you really put it through the ringer. Yeah, except the bastard looked like a scorpion. Speaking of which, what would you say that last one looked like? Huh? Uh, well... Hmm. Looks dead now. Ho ho, Cloud. Well said. What a zinger. Lo and behold. All aboard. Oh, but I want to see what's down the tunnel. Oh, wait, it's going down <laughs> the tunnel anyways. Secret tunnel. Secret <laughs> tunnel. Secret tunnel. All right. I love that the weapons upgrade, too, or the, they actually change the look of the weapons. Those metal knuckles look pretty darn cool on Tifa. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I particularly like Barrett's weapons changing, partly because of the ridiculous nature of the fact that he must unhook his prosthetic to put the new ones on, and that yeah. must take such a long time. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I've seen some of the designs too, which is fun. Mm -hmm. I I wonder how I wonder what you what your thoughts will be when you finally get a melee one for him. I remember we got one for him in the original game. And I was just meh. It, it was very strange, but at the same time, it actually it changes the way he plays entirely. Yeah. He act like he's he's now a melee character like Cloud or Tifa once he gets one in this one, and that actually matters more compared yeah. to so in the original game. That just meant like oh he oh, has to attack from the front row now. That there's the reactor support pillar. So what's the plan? After plan E comes F, G, and then H. <laughs> I thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is section F. We <laughs> cut through section G <laughs> and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. I think I could use a rest after that. Yeah, just take a nap after beating a giant... Basically a giant tank engine. Yeah. Definitely liking our stats better now. Barrett's up in the 2000s, Tifa's getting close. Yeah. Okay, what the heck? Where's the ladder? Uh, somewhere. There it is. There it is. There we go. Whee! <laughs> God, Cloud is brave to do that on this really old and rusty looking catwalk. Yeah. 
I'm holding down the speed up button. I think that actually that does make you move a tiny bit faster on these, like, balancey things. Huh. Which is hilarious that they allow that to happen. Hey, you see something over there? Maybe. I see a ladder. Maybe the gate didn't budge because there's not enough power to spare. Gotta figure this out. I see what looks like a power station. Mini mini game? Barrett. Insufficient power. Of course. Hey Barrett. Hey, guys. Look at hey this. Tifa. Where did you guys come from? Kill the lights, and we free up power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. Do you think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta huh. put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Yeah, wow. Later. Sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. Uh, this is pretty horrible of a thing that we have to do to people. All in the name of progress, right? Like... All in the name of progress. But I guess at the same time, this is at least a show of consideration on Shinra's part. True. This is well, them I mean, allowing the people below to have an actual day-night day, day -night cycle. True. But at the same time, it feels like... Ooh, wow, that's, that's really bright. bright. Yeah, Oof. that is... That is shockingly bright. Potions. There we go. You never you know get me. to a giant circle without running all the way around it. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter which RPG I'm playing. Emergency power supply confirmed. Disengaging locking mechanisms. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Great job, Cloud. She praised me. <laughs> Next stop, Section G. Yep. Uh oh. And after that, Ooh, I five. see some. Uh, I see some. What do they call them? Grass strikes. Yeah. Sitting gas over strikes. There. I'm sure those things will welcome us. Just that's gonna be a problem. Tell you what, the rot runs deep in this damn pizza. <laughs> Interesting analogy. Don't mind us, you know. About damn time. All set. Grass strikes. Yeah, grass. Or grass strikes. Yeah, I, knew, I knew it was like a little weirder. Than would make sense to be called. That works. Just knocking them down. They busted? Powered down, is my guess. Lucky us, am I right? One less thing for us to worry about. See that right For there? Now. That would have that would been a great opportunity to just let that be environmental storytelling. Just have them there, but don't have them attack you. Yeah. Because then you can have the player have the really cool moment of like, oh man, I just turned on the power to like get across to the next sector. What if those machines come on too? Like that would be that would be a fun thing. You don't have to point it out. Just, yeah, something for the player to notice. Mm -hmm. What is that sound? Oh. That's something sound is... sound of doom! Sound more like a grass strike. I mean, probably that too. Sure to like it. 
Treasure. It's like in the tunnel. They get twisted by the Mako, but it all goes back to Hazardous material. Ooh. That sounds like a story item. I wonder I wonder what that does. Maybe it It's not a story time a story item. Maybe it casts bio or something. Always maybe the enemy. I mean, that would make sense. They were just saying how the monsters seem to like it. Maybe you can use it to lure monsters. That would be pretty cool. Get like an alluring skull from Dark Souls in here. Exactly. Maybe make it easier. Ooh, a blue materia. That's my Those... favorite kind of materia. Oh uh, no. I, I, I guess not. You okay? Yeah. Ah, going for that materia, weren't you? So no. Close. And yet so far. Maybe. Give it, give me, 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 give me. Give me. Right, so it's on H7. Gotta try and remember that. We can never make it to the H sector. We can get to H7. That's where that blue materia is. Alright. Man, that, that's another thing I, I kind of wish... I kind of miss about the original game. There was a lot more access to more Let's kinds to together, all the different guys. kinds of materia outside of summons and stuff what just happened uh you walked up the steps and they ran to look at something huh okay yeah they're forcing you to look at something we're still hmm. in g right yeah and to reach mako reactor 5 we need to go through section h Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't spot a connecting catwalk to Section H. Did you? Well, we could always do another lap. Go for ten, why don't you? The only other route that I can think of would be... Oh my gosh, it's the flying fish. Along the wall. Up for giving it a try? It hmm. might not work out, but it's the only idea I've got. <laughs> it's not a bad one. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there? Okay. At least we've got a clear landmark to guide us. Hmm. <laughs> those ventilation fans? Keeping the plates air clean by pushing the smog into Something the about traveling by giant ventilation fans feels like fast. not a great idea. I think we already yeah. this place out. Just, there, there's a little bit about it that makes me feel like, won't I fall down? Excuse me, fellas. Awful lucky they didn't notice us walking oh, over that thin platform, which could make us easily fall down if we were attacked on. That thing's going to happen. That's a great Ooh. feeling. Yeah, that, you know that thing is there. You not get lost is to believe that you're not. Mind over matter. Isn't that from one of Marlene's books? Yep, one of her favorites. Loves it when I read it to her before bedtime. Doing all the oh, right. Life in the endless maze. Am I right? <laughs> I remember. go that way so that was all for not I mean you got you got a moogle medal and a remedy you killed some things and a remedy remedy's powerful it cures all your status ailments and there you go oh man oh yikes look at all that smog coming out though seriously oh that's that's a lot of that's a lot of waste right there yeah I mean, Barrett was just saying that. Just how they're just blowing the smog down into the slums. 
it just straight literally blowing it onto them. No wonder there's so many monsters down there. Seriously. Blue goo! It's the blue goo. Watch out, these things can be viciously annoying. They can I get put the to sleep forever. Best do it right. Lightning and wind, eh? Smelling salts, interesting. Knocking them about. Oh, where did you guys come from? Take the lead. Mind over my That worked. Yeah. Not so nice and easy. Alright. I think that's everything. Cool. Here's another one of those ridiculously bright suns. Yeah. Okay, this G7. is G7. We're not too far, or I guess we, uh, I don't know if we're near or far to H7. Well, I, th I think we're close to Sector H. Or at least we're yeah. close to, we're getting closer to the fans. Yeah, the fans are right hey, there. Look. There we go. I think we can climb onto that pipe. Sure seems that way. No fear, no fear. Yeah, no fear. No fear. No fear. At least he's mad enough to admit it. Hey, man. If you're gonna be a literal guys, big man uh, like you Barrett, know, you gotta be a big man. Really loud and... You chickening out? Hell no! <laughs> well, I'm just worried that your phony ass is gonna get blown off the side and shit. Enough! We gotta keep moving. Okay then. Follow me. <laughs> no worse than a windy day, huh? One with a tornado warning, maybe? Don't look at the fan. Whatever you do. Right. She just said, don't look at the fan. Yeah. You gonna listen, you really not gonna look at the fan? It's just a fan. It's not like, don't look down. Hmm. I'm looking down, Rai. I'm looking down. Hey, <laughs> what's behind the fan over there? Ooh. Wait, Tifi, you said don't look at the fan. Now you're saying, what's behind the fan? Which is it, lady? Wait, I want to go back. I can't believe it's letting you go back. That's so silly. <laughs> I would have assumed it would force you to not to not go back. Yeah, you'd think so. Is it, is it maybe this one that she was talking about? Something behind it? I guess, oh, come on, share play. I spy with my little eye. A materia. Some red materia. So many materia. Oh man. This place is chock full of good stuff. That means there's a summon there. Yes. Ho ho ho. Which means we need to shut down that fan somehow. Now, how in the world do you get to the fan? But. I think over oh, there. Well, right over there, yeah. Clear as day. Easy peasy. Oh, and hey, we're in sector. We're already in sector H. Section H there we is go. just up ahead. Slow and steady, guys. And that's our objective. The cargo platform. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Uh, don't. Oh, this come on. Ha <laughs> ha. The cargo platform Biggs was talking about. Let's not. Yeah, they just wait. tease you with all that stuff. Yeah, you seriously. look at it and be like, oh, there's a summon over there, there's blue materia Error. over there. Insufficient power. You're kidding me. Or maybe needs three lights we'll still have a chance. But that's that's all of them, isn't it? Wow. Mm. All or nothing. Let's regroup here if we get lost. 
I guess you know it it literally did show us that on the in case of power shortage sign back when we first learned we have to turn the lights off that one it's true this might actually yeah everyone i think this is a good place to call this an episode uh, yeah. lots of good stuff coming up lots of brothers and sisters of the undercity got to try and figure out how to get that summon try and figure out how to get that blue thing hopefully don't get shot by a bunch of shinra machines fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> all right heal up uh, yeah everyone uh we're gonna call it an episode here next time like riley said lots of fun stuff gonna do our best to find it all thank you all for watching and we will see you for the next one have a good night y'all